Sure. Considering you're, you know, you're one place out of the big money. So yeah. Uh, well, uh, I mean, when I was down about 80 meters with three laps to go, you know, I don't. I mean, I'm still running hard because I, because you know, it's, it's, you know, I don't want to wish anything bad on anybody. But I was thinking, you know, if something, if someone gets injured or something between now and the Olympics. They'll need somebody. Hopefully, they'll pick me. <laughs> no, and I, I mean, I hope everyone stays right. healthy. I wouldn't wish that on But I was thinking about that. You know, like every place. My coach, my coach told me before the race, every place matters. You never know. Just go out there and fight for everything. Um, but yeah, I was kind of like, when I saw that gap. I was running hard, but I kind of knew. You know, it wasn't like I got leaning the line. It's like. Dang. So are you happy proud that the entire season went for you is what you accomplished? What's that? Are you pretty confident or satisfied with how the entire season went for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard not to be. I mean, I PR'd every distance, you know, multiple times. And, um, you know, I ran under 27.45 twice. Um, you know, it's hard not to feel good about that. I, you know, just, I was hitting on all cylinders in the middle of the season and not quite at the end. Um, and that was just a little bit of all the racing we did and a little bit of injury and stuff. And, I mean, that's... That's good. That's what leaves a little bit of sour taste in my mouth. Just knowing that, you know, I felt like maybe if I was, if I felt as good as I did at Peyton, I might have been able to make the team. But, um, you know, you live and you learn. We never, we never tried something like this before. We, you know, we never, you know, had to be sharp at this point in the seat or you know, be ready to roll like at, you know this meet. And you know, we did the best we could. And I think, you know, I, I wouldn't, you know, obviously hindsight's 2020, but I wouldn't change the process, the decision making process we went through at all. I think that we thought about things the right way. And uh, you know, it's all, I guess it's all you can do is try to make. The right percentage calls, and hopefully, hopefully, it goes for you. You have a little foot. I, I came in late. Just... Yeah, I just uh, past like six weeks, I've been dealing with the plantar fasciitis, plantar fasciitis a little bit. Chris, what's nice. um? Well, I've signed up for the five. Good about that? Oh man, <laughs> I really wanted to get third just so I'd have to run the five for the Olympics. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm signed up for that, and then, I mean, I think after that, I'll probably just, you know, I'm it's been a long season, a little, little banged up. Probably just go home and rest and try to get my body right and look forward to next year. What if you get top three? Well, I get obviously I go to the Olympics. <laughs> Did you have any idea like what where you're going to be training next year or who you're going to be running for? Stuff no, like that? actually, I mean that's everything's up in the air. Um, you know, I've talked to like a number of groups. I've talked about staying with Coach Dunn. You know, obviously, fourth Olympic trials, June 27, 30, 13, 19. Like, you know, I really love the Palo area. I like working with Coach. Like, um, you know, that's that's definitely a big possibility for me. Um, you know, I've talked to a number of different groups and number of different people. I kind of am putting that off until the end of my, you know, after I make a, after I, you know, get a sponsorship and then kind of after all the racing's done. Um, you know, everything just kind of piled on like right at the end of the year. That you know, NCAA's, you know, getting an agent. Finishing a research paper, graduating, like let me trials, and I kind of wanted to just. That was one thing I felt like I could push back, and you know, I don't need to start training with anyone tomorrow. Do you feel a little bit unlucky? I mean, you, you finished fourth of the top three guys all broke the trials record. I mean, you run, you know, 13, 19, and 27, 30, never win an NCAA title. I mean, do you feel kind of like you're the unluckiest uh, runner? No, I don't. Honestly, I feel very fortunate to race the guys I've raced, to be in the situation I've been in. I mean, I've been extremely lucky my whole life. Um, you know, going back to like middle school you know middle school and like you know or my you know my parents sent me to school early and so I was undersized so I couldn't play basketball so I wanted to you know so then like I know I met coach Vanderstein who you know got me into running which completely changed my life and got to go to Stanford and I mean and the other thing too is racing all these guys who are so good in college like that's just been a you know I'm not very religious but a blessing like you know to get to race them and have them push me and make me better um, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't run 2730 if you know Sam Chalanga wasn't there, or if like Leonard Kruger hadn't done it, or Sam, Ch or you know Kent Levins, and all, all those guys. Like, I think that you know they made me better. Are you uh, in this with a long haul? You can be back in four years. Kind of yeah, I certainly hope so. I want to ask you, what's a you know you, you mentioned Stanford and those kind of races. What was the biggest difference coming in and racing these guys at at a meet like this at the like the Olympic trials? Um, I think it's just a little bit of a different mindset in terms of like needing to cover moves uh, not just like okay I'm running the right pace I'm running the right pace I'm good but like you got to be focusing on racing and, and cover and cover all that stuff and guys move earlier you know at, at Stanford and stuff guys kind of just want to they want to sit and just keep running the pace and feel good and here you know they're looking to break you and break away and that's what they did where do you, you feel like you got break broke uh, broken. <laughs> it's okay you know clumps and screen you recently. um <laughs> Thank you. no uh I, I think it was maybe like two miles to go. I don't. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, that was. It was when they dropped. Like a, I think it was like a, at least 163. I heard, and then Ken went by, and that was kind of 
That was what really broke the race open, I felt like. I couldn't really tell. That was the decisive moment when Tegan Camp yeah. went? Yeah, well, I think, yeah, I think, I think Ritz and I was at the front, but Tegan Camp moved past mm -hmm. us in the third. Any, anything that you learned from this race? I know it's only a moment, you know, a few yeah, minutes after, I mean, but... No, I mean, I think that it's kind of like, you know, like I said, I got to race really good guys all through my college career, and you just got to be focused, um, you know. They're, well, they're not going to beat themselves. You have to go out and try and beat them. You're pretty far back there going into the last lap, but did you realize that Rich was kind of struggling? I mean, you got pretty close to him. Did you ever think, wait a minute? I mean, I saw it maybe with, like, 2.50 to go, um, and I was fortunate to have Aaron there because I was kicking to try to get away from him. Um, but I was like, man, that's... It's pretty far. I mean, obviously, I was running as hard as I could, you know, trying to get there, but and it was never really an expectation of like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. And I think he still got me by like four seconds. So. And did you feel better? Like this was a better performance than NCAA's? Yes. And what do you think yeah. the difference was? I mean, I think I just I managed myself better. You know, I talked to Coach Dunn before the race, and he said, you know, like the one thing that you has always defined you and made you a good runner is that you can manage yourself during the race. And, and I didn't do that in NCAA's, you know, admittedly. Like, I let my foot distract me, I let how I was feeling distract me, and here I just felt like I didn't allow that to distract me as much. Um, you know, I think, like, my foot hurt more here than during NCAA's, but I was focused on just running and, you know, keeping my body relaxed and doing all the stuff that, you know, it takes to run. Good luck, man.